Good evening. Uh, I have been working with Angel uh, OCT for more than one uh, six months, and uh, you will see so for some of my images, and uh, you will understand why I am so interested by this technique. Angel OCT now, as you have heard, uh, Tony Co is called by Optoview Angel View. Angel OCT, SADA technology, now Angel View, uses, as you have heard, blood cells movement in vessels instead of dye to record vascular network. With Angel OCT, we are able to perform angiography in everyday clinical practice as many times as we think it necessary opposite to fluorescein angiography, for which we need to plan in advance the uh, examination. You see on your left a fluorescein angiograph, where there is leakage, pooling. In the middle you see the angio-OCT, where the lack of leakage allows us to see capillary abnormalities much better than with fluorescein angiography. On the right, you will see the topography map where edema is uh, uh, shown uh, corresponding to capillary abnormalities in angio-OCT and to leakage in fluorescein angiography. In fluorescein angiography, we have leakage, staining, or pooling. This is very useful in some disorders, but can be an hindrance in other cases. And then fluorescein angiography is invasive, cannot be performed always when necessary. All layers are seen simultaneously, they are overlaid. And you see on your right some examples of uh, staining and uh, pooling and leakage. Let us say right away that any fluorescein angiography old warrior, like myself, but maybe like Giovanni Staurenghi, will be disconcerted by angio OCT imaging. There are new bearings, there is a lack of leakage, of staining, of pooling that makes angio OCT images too sharp, too dry for us who have been working on fluorescein angiography for so many years. So we have to study vascular circulation with angio OCT a very different way than we did with fluorescein angiography. Here is uh, on top an angio OCT. As you see, there is no staining. We see exactly the blood column. Below, you will see the fluorescein angiograph where the staining makes the vessel much larger and where it is very difficult to understand the blood circulation. Vessels are more clearly seen and not blurred by leakage. And then, I repeat, OCTA can be performed as many times it is necessary. And then we see each retinal layer separately. Field size are 8, 6 and 3 mm with the new angel view. And we can study the flow area. Flow index is a parameter between 0 and 1 that is proportional to the density of blood vessels and the velocity of the blood flow and this can be very useful in some of our uh, studies. No flow area also can be very useful in some disease. As Tony told you, in the SADA OCT and Joe view, we can see separately function imaging and structure imaging. We can see them separately or overlaid. Here is a normal macula in full sickness mode. Uh, in this uh, image, we see overlaid 
superficial and deeper uh, network of the retina. Here you see separately the normal capillaries. As you know, there are two uh, levels of uh, network, superficial and deep, and they are very different and even more important the, in the retinal disease, the, uh, they, they take different uh, aspects. This is the uh, enfant in normal retina. And here is macular edema in diabetic retinopathy. As you see on the left, the images are less sharp. You see leakage and pooling you see much better the retinal circulation in the right, in the uh, angel view, and you can uh, measure perfectly the vascular central zone. Here is on the left uh, fluorescent angiography of diabetic retinopathy. As I repeat to you, the lack of wall staining allows in the angel view to see the blood column abnormalities and to assess wall thickness. Dark ischemia areas are seen as loss of capillaries in angiocity. So we have to study angio view a very different way that we did uh, fluorescein angiography. We have different informations, some more important than the one we got with fluorescein angiography. But anyway, the two images can complete each other. And see this. On the right is a fluorescein angiography of a, 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 a proliferative diabetic retinopathy. And you see that the uh, leakage immediately after a few seconds masks the uh, capillaries. On the left, you see the capillaries how they are exactly seen with angel view. Because you don't see leakage, you see on only the moving blood cells inside the capillaries. This is the same patient on the left before treatment. Uh, 15 days later after panretinal treatment, you can follow the, uh, the improvement and the regression of the new vessels. And this you can do as many times as you want. You have no invasive procedure. The patient can be seen the day after. Uh, it's like uh, you tell him we are taking a picture, a photograph of your eye, and he has no problems. Here is another proliferative retinopathy. On the fluorescein in top, you can see there is some leakage. And we thought uh, it was only uh, staining. No, it was not a staining. We have seen below, you can see, the ca active capillaries full of blood, circulating blood. This is a labor coat disease. On the left, you see the fluorescein angiography. There, you see only uh, some leakage and no detail of the uh, circulation. On the right, I show you the superficial vascular network with all the uh, malformation and the uh, defects that are normal to labor coats disease. Now let's go deeper. You will see the aspect is very different. Now we have to study each disease in the superficial and deep network because uh, results, observation are different and they can give us many information on the disease. On the left, you see that the fluorescein angiography does not give much. This is a macroaneurysm. And this is a branch, uh, central uh, branch vein occlusion. As you see, where there is occlusion, you see a capillary loss and uh, some uh, irregularities of the capillaries. And this will interest very much all of you. Uh, Antonio, I send you this image. You see here an angel view CNV. 
we are in what is normally an avascular zone and where normally the, uh, there are no blood uh, networks. So these images are the image of uh, an CNV in uh, age-related macular degeneration. You see very well the afferent vessel in the center, the core vessels, and the peripheral anastomosis. But this is even more interesting. We made an uh, aflibel set injection, and this is the image 24 hours later. As you see, we do not hesitate to make these uh, angiographies after a few hours. And you see that the network appears smaller with less anastomosis. The changes in the flow produce a fragmented aspect of the network and the, uh, the network is less intense and it is disaggregated. The, the secondary branches decrease or disappear immediately after injection, but they will reappear. This we did not know. Here it is after 10 days, it is still decreasing. The flow is decreasing. But now look at this series of pictures. Before treatment, 24 hours after a flibercept, seven days after a flibercept, they are much regressed. 30 days later, they are much back to the first image. And so we had to treat. And I think, and we will, that it is an important uh, image to study to take a decision to make the treatment or retreat it, retreatment. See below 24 hours after the second aflibercept, 10 days later it disappears, and 30 days later, that means 60 days after the beginning, here it is back, and we had to make a new injection. So you have here a new way of following a treatment follow-up and maybe it will take a big importance the next uh, months. Here you see the same eye with an elaboration by Yali Jia and David Wong from Portland where they had uh, underneath the flow index and the uh, aspect of the uh, vascular net after and before treatment. This is a uh, myopia angioview. The first uh, image is before treatment. And here, uh, a flibercet had uh, success for more than 60 days. The small image of uh, blood vessel you see that is left is due to a choroid uh, vessel, not the CNV. Another uh, angiography, SADA of the myopia uh, network. And here is an image by Adil El Maftouri from Paris, who show another kind of uh, vascular net with uh, a big extension. Look now at this image. This is a macular telangiectasia in the superficial vascular net. You see the abnormalities. So we go down to the deep plexus and we see there are different kind of abnormalities. But if in this eye we go deeper, we find there is a new vessel. And this new vessel was not seen on the fluorescein angiograph that the patient brought with him. So we had to treat him. Polypoidal vasculopathy, geographic atrophy, uh, always by Adil El Maftoui. And the angio view is not useful only for retina. It is very useful for uh, glaucoma, 
And here are two images of optic disc, and Dr. Piesch will give us many images more. We will see that in glaucoma and in neurodegenerative disorders, there are some uh, uh, very important changes in the capillary network. With NGO City SADA algorithm, we explore a world we thought we knew, but we have new maps, new bearings. We discover, as you have seen, new aspects and new meanings to angiography. But not all NGO OCT gives beautiful imaging. A certain part of imaging is not very good, can be used clinically, but is not outstanding. A much smaller part cannot be clinically useful. Some of it is due to lack of fixation of the patient. Most of it is due to long learning curve. So you cannot expect to get immediately perfect images. Angio OCT gives easier and faster most of the information fluorescein angiography does. And GeoCT gives more and different information than fluorescein angiography. And your view will not be used the same way as fluorescein angiography because there is no need to plan exam in advance. Any patient could be examined at any moment, but expect a learning curve to obtain perfect images. NGO OCT gives us economy in safety, insurance, time, nurse, anesthetist, electrocardiogram, blood tests, clinical material, syringes. NGO OCT gives faster and more easily, without side effects, more information than fluorescein angiography. The question uh, Jay will ask me is, is NGO City the future of angiography? Answer. Probably yes. OCT angiography is faster, easier, safer, and less expensive. It is possible that tomorrow fluorescein angiography will be less used than today. And that in everyday clinical activity, it will be replaced by non invasive, dialess OCT angiography. I invite all of you to come in Rome, December 12, 13, where we'll have a big Enfas OCT imaging meeting with a big session on OCT angiography. Thank you.